Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Scream, issue number one. This is Scream, The Curse of Carnage, issue number one. What, did I go with the variant cover in this? Yes, I did. Mwah! My Stanley Yard germ laugh. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. I'll tell you five things about this comic book after we talk about who made the comic book. This is Scream, Curse of Carnage. Clay McLeod Chapman did the writing. Chris Mooneyham on art. Rain Barreto doing the color art. VCs Corey Petit doing the letters. Jim Chang and Romulo Friaro Jr. doing the cover. Bunch of variant covers including Nick Bradshaw and Jason Keith. Another by Nick Scullo. Another by Scotty Young. And this one by Stanley Art Germ Lau. Baby! <laughs> you collecting? Collect, mother fathead. Collect. Anyway, let's talk about number one on this list. And that is police humor. You don't often see that because it's a dangerous, scary kind of thing to do, you know, just have the kind of humor that police do behind closed doors, hopefully behind closed doors. They say the only people darker than uh, cops would be, um, what do you call it, comedians, because comedians always make regular people laugh. In order to make a comedian laugh, you really got to go dark in order to do that. And it's humor that just isn't acceptable to the rest of us yeah, at all. <laughs> that being said, police humor, especially when you're a detective and you've seen some serious crap, in order to tell a joke, you got to go to really dark places because it's just like knock knock jokes just do not cut it for you. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I just think that they did that. That's real. That is actually real life. Wait until you hear some, uh, or if you ever hear uh, army people talking, woof, or any kind of, you know, soldier. Wow. Let's talk about number two on this list Aunt May! Aunt May is in this book. Yeah, when, um, what do you call it? When Scream goes to the. Uh, uh, the, 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 basically it's the feast house. She goes to this homeless shelter. There we go. That's the word I was searching for, the term I was searching for. It turns out it's feast. I'm like, oh, I like that they didn't actually tell us right ahead. Later on, they explain it. But like, as soon as they realized that that was Aunt May that we were talking to, I'm like, she went to feast. That's perfect. That is freaking perfect. I like that. I do. Let's talk about number three on this list. Get in the pit and try to love someone. Bruh. Scream has so many opportunities to come out and play superhero or, you know, whatever the heck it is that she's playing. And I like this. <laughs> I genuinely like this, man. Um, I don't know, man. The idea of her being in the mosh pit, like we've seen it before, and just hanging out, just trying to let go. Yes, it's there's a very special place for you in the mosh pit, as long as you don't have a bunch of jerks running around. There's always somebody who wants to run up and freaking crosshair body slam you into the freaking wall or knock you to the ground or sometimes even take a swing at you. Unfortunately, that's never happened to me. Nobody's actually taken a swing at me in a freaking mosh pit. Of course, it's been like a decade or three since I, a decade or two, really, since I've been in a proper pit, but you get the gist, right? Anyway, um, yes. I fully get what's going on here. There's the punk rock and the and the, the scream metal kind of perfect for this title, right? Kind of um, uh, vibe to the comic book. It's really heavy metal, and I dig that. Like I feel that. It's not just because of that, but like it's actually the vibe that you get when you're reading this, and it's a good feeling. You can really place the characters. Let's talk about number four on this list, and that is Venom Island. Wait, what? Issue number 20 of Venom just dropped this week. It's the final issue and the tie-in for the Absolute Carnage stuff that just happened. This was talking about Absolute Carnage, but this comic book is talking about issue number 21 of Venom, where Venom Island begins, because some way, somehow, Eddie Brock gets stranded on some kind of an island someplace, and he's got to come to grips with, F all I know. But the idea is that all this crazy stuff is happening right now, and Andy Benton, she doesn't have Flash anymore. She doesn't even have Brock or Eddie Brock hanging around anymore. It's just her. She doesn't know who she can go to. She doesn't realize she can go to Aunt May because Aunt May is one of the raddest people on the face of the planet. So she thinks that she's completely alone. And she's actually acting that way. Mmm. Good book. Good book. Just to let you know, though, this book acts like it's about a month in the future. I'm 100% okay with that. Whatever it shall be, shall be. This is the way. This is the way. Uh, let's talk about number five on this list. Andy's mom shows up at the end of this, or at least we believe it is. That just something similar to this just happened in Shazam issue number eight this week, but a bunch of parents showing up. Andy's a character most people are not familiar with, and even if you are familiar with her, we don't have a whole lot of information out about her. Not really, all right? She's got a second symbiote. She's on her second symbiote right now. Yeah, cute. That's not enough to actually go by. We don't know anything about her family or anything else. Now all of a sudden with the idea that we've seen her father and 
maybe her mom's actually going to show up. Maybe this is actually her mom who showed up. Okay, we're learning more about this character. And I'm so tired of the unrealism of so many of these superheroes who don't actually have parents. Several of them can be explained, all right? You got Peter Parker who actually has parents, mom, pa, Kent. You know what I'm saying? Even like Captain America's like, no, my parents are dead a long, long time ago, dude. No, forget about it. All those things make sense. But most characters, it's like, dude, why do these people not have parents? You know? They can't all be Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson. Come on, you know? So this was good. If she definitely, if this girl definitely turns out to be her mom, I am so on board for this. That being said, got a little separation anxiety going with the symbiote, right? And the symbiote, the, the scream symbiote suit, the, the Clintonar is simply not in a good place for being separated. So yeah, who knows what she could do? Who knows what it could do? This is a really good book. I definitely enjoyed this book. Thank you guys well too. If you're a Scream fan, if you're a hybrid fan, if you're one of those guys just like, dude, I need me some, some Venom or some Clintar suits going. Boom. Got you back. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.